Okay, folks, we're here to continue on with building our AM FM radio kit from Lenko. And today we're going to do section two, the AM detector and AGC stage. We may end up doing uh, more than one. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, but we're going to get started on that. And uh, I've decided what I do, I, I am going to go ahead and show you me soldering, but I'll do it really, really quick. And I'll only stop the, the process if uh, something interesting comes up, that uh, something worthy of note. But uh, this one section here is all just these um, passive components they're going in today. Then some some testing, and uh, then we go on to section three, which is the second IF amplifier, AM IF amplifier. And uh, well, let's get started. Okay, so we've got all the uh, com components put in for this section. Um, one thing I'll note is that I, I've seen lots of images of this board and uh, I always thought, oh, you know, they, they didn't get the transformers in straight. Well, there's a reason for that. Uh, the actual patterns or the, you know, the way the holes are drilled into the board uh, will, will ensure that the transformers are not in straight. But that, that's only cosmetic and only for somebody like myself. Uh, uh, but okay, everything else went okay. I don't see any um, wordy things to mention, except for you know when you do put diodes in and stuff like that that are polarized, like capacitors and diodes. Make sure you get the polarity in right. That's very important. Um, capacitors will blow up. Diodes will not do what they're supposed to do, or may blow up if you get them in wrong. So yeah, yeah that's a uh, really important. Pay pay good attention to getting anything polarized in the correct way. All right, so now let's set up to do the test. Now the first one is the static measurement here. So we set up the meters all set up there. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to show you the meter reading because it's it's just going to be the one little reading and take my word for it. And then apply the power. Power supply hooked up. And turn on the power. Now we're supposed to read 1.5 volts here. So turn on the power, and we are definitely not reading 1.5 volts. Okay, my bad. I didn't have this switch switched to AM, so that's on me. But now that I do have it switched to AM, we are reading 1.45 volts. So that's perfect. So that's another thing to remember. Make sure you switch everything on, read the instructions properly, and uh, don't skip ahead. Okay, so we're going to go on now to the T8 test. And so let me set up for that, and I'll be right back. Okay, T8 test. Uh, we've got the multimeter set up to test point 3 and test point 15, as per the instructions. And now we need to turn everything on reading the power and we should be reading 9 volts and we're reading 8.99 that's good enough for me okay next test dynamic measurements AM detector and AGC test alright as per the instructions we have the multimeter set up on test point 5 and we have the generator going into the supplied point zero zero one UF capacitor into uh, test point three. No, that is test point. Yeah, test point three. And um, we have it set up to 455 kilohertz. And we're starting out here now at a 11 millivolts RMS. Increase this voltage now 
until the voltage to test point three begins to drop. I'm gonna say it's gonna go from this 1.458 that I have here until it gets down to 1.40. It's begun to drop at that point. So let's increase the voltage. We're about up 140, 150 millivolts. 160. So 160 millivolts, we're at 1.40 volts. So we'll mark that down here. 160 millivolts. All right. Okay, let's set up for that next test. Okay, now we're ready for the uh, system check. And we have everything set up the way we're supposed to have it. We have the function generator set up for amplitude modulation. Uh, AM frequency of 1 kilohertz, AM depth 80%, and a carrier frequency of 455 kilohertz. And we have that going in through the point 001 UF capacitor to test point 3. Then over here on test point 2, we have the oscilloscope attached. Of course, they didn't give us any instructions on how we're to uh, set up the oscilloscope. So, uh, well, we just go ahead with the test. So it says set the RF oscillator such. As I've already mentioned, turn the power on and set the volume control at maximum. So we'll turn the power on. Set it to maximum. And then slowly adjust the amplitude of the RF generator until you hear one kilohertz tone in the speaker. So we hear it already at 11 millivolts. So let's see what we can turn it down to so we don't hear it anymore. Okay, I can just I can just barely hear it here against the background noise in the lab here at about four millivolts RMS. Okay, so that I guess that's a pass because they don't have any parameters here. So let's see what the next test is. Okay, for this test here, the AM detector bandwidth test, we connect up everything as we had previously, and this time they do tell us to set the oscilloscope to read 0.1 volts or 100 millivolts per division. And we're to turn the power on, set the volume at minimum. And increase the amplitude of the generator until the signal on the solar rope is four divisions peak to peak. Okay. So let's start increasing the amplitude. Now we're at four divisions peak to peak. Check the signal level to make sure it's free of distortion. It is. I got some noise from LED lamps in the in the lab here. I'm gonna to have to do something about that eventually. Um, leave the frequency counter at 455 kilohertz, but increase the modulation frequency until the output drops to 0.28 volts peak to peak. Okay, let me get uh, peak to peak reading on here. So we're currently at uh, 440 millivolts peak to peak. These are four divisions plus the noise from the LEDs. And now we increase our AM frequency until we're down to 0.28. Here we are. 2.80 perfectly, and we're at 8.4 kilohertz. So we'll record that. It should be greater than 5 kilohertz. So we are greater than 5 kilohertz. That's pretty good. 8.4 kilohertz. And that's it. We've finished section two. I think I'll call that a wrap for today. I've got to get my little dog into the vet, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to get ready to go and do that. I'll probably I'm probably going to arrange to move forward a little bit quicker than we're moving forward now because I, I would like to get this thing finished in in weeks rather than months because there's so many different sections. But uh, yeah, so I'll set up for that next time. And make sure that we can get. Um, a little bit more done it on a single go. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, if you like, leave me a like. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe. And always leave a comment. Uh, it's always great to hear from everybody, and it really helps out the algorithm and helps me build this channel. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.